Good evening, I'm Lena Hassanel. Welcome to BizWorld. Malaysia aims to elevate its economy to be among the world's top 30 largest in less than 10 years from 37th position currently. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim said the main focus is on economic restructuring towards making Malaysia an economic leader in Asia. Jika kita hanya berpuas hati dengan keadaan sekarang, ekonomi akan mencatat pertumbuhan antara 4 hingga 5 peratus. Namun, jika kita berusaha gigih melaksana pembaharuan, kita mampu mencapai 50.5%. Malah saya percaya adalah tidak mustahil untuk dalam jangka masa pendek kita menghasilkan pertumbuhan bagi negara Malaysia 6%. The Madani Economy Framework presented today also sets six other targets to be achieved within five to ten years. They include being in the top 12 of the Global Competitiveness Index, top 25 in the Human Development Index, top 25 best score in the Corruption Perception Index, and attaining fiscal sustainability with a fiscal deficit of 3% or less. The framework also aims to raise women's participation in the workforce to 60%, and for employees' compensation to reach 45% of the GDP. In the meantime, Datuk Sri Anwar also announced a slew of incentives for the rakyat and the business community, which include a 100 ringgit e-cash credit to those with an annual income of less than 100,000 ringgit and financing guarantees of up to 120% of the house price valued up to 300,000 ringgit. To address the issue of quality water supply, an additional 800 million ringgit will also be allocated for short-term solutions in Kelantan and Sabah. The government, along with government-linked investment companies, GLICs, will invest an additional fund of 1 billion ringgit to support startups and driving technopreneurs. An additional 100 million ringgit will also be provided to help micro, small and medium enterprises expedite the transition to a more digital business model. Additionally, the government will add 400 million ringgit to the allocation for microloans under various agencies, including SME Corporation, Takun, Mara and Taraju. 200 million ringgit financing is also allocated under Agrobank, particularly for modern agricultural technology applications. Meanwhile, the government has also announced the National Energy Transition Roadmap, NETR, today. Economy Minister Rafizi Ramli said this will open up investment opportunities between 435 billion and 1.85 trillion ringgit by 2050 through 10 wide-ranging flagship projects. The launch of the National Energy Transition Roadmap today marks that important change in our thinking. It is not only a document that contains interim measures to meet our net zero target, but it is a combination of strategies and initiatives that could transform our economy, livelihoods and our place in the world. One of the projects is the setting up of one gigawatt integrated renewable energy zone. It will be championed by Kazana Nasional and carried out through a joint venture between UEM and Itramats. NETR will also open up the hydrogen gateway in Sarawak as it implements rounds of projects to emerge as the hydrogen hub in the country. Other projects include efficient switch, energy storage, biomass demand creation and future mobility. Malaysia's Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, MSME, achieved a gross domestic product GDP growth of 11.6% in 2022, surpassing the national GDP growth of 8.7%. According to the Department of Statistics Malaysia, the search showed the growing significance of MSMEs in driving economic expansion. Contribution of MSMEs to the GDP also increased to 38.4%, from 37.4% in 2021. Meanwhile, the value added amounted to 580 billion ringgit, marking a substantial increase from 520 billion ringgit in 2021. MSME's exports totaled 144.5 billion ringgit in 2022, expanded to 16.3% as compared to 5.4% in the preceding year. 
This was driven by the manufacturing sector with 19.5 percent, as well as the services sector, which rebounded to 5.7 percent. On MSME's employment situation, the contribution to Malaysia's employment in 2022 was 48.2 percent against 47.8 percent in the previous year. That's all the time we have for BizWorld. I'm Liana Hassanel. Thank you for investing your time with us.